Hi guys, it's Katie. So today I wanted to talk about how my first week of NaNoWriMo has been going. I haven't been making a lot of book related videos because I've been preoccupied with writing and I have not actually read it all this week, which is kind of crazy because I've been marathoning Harry Potter for like the past few months, so um, yeah, I want to get back to reading, but right now I'm focusing on writing and get it, keeping my word count up to date. So, I just want to tell you guys how my first week of NaNo has been going. I've been doing NaNo since like 2011. I've only been using the NaNo site and keeping track of my word count for the past like four years I want to say. Or is that since 2011? Yeah, that's been since 2011. Um, I've never actually completed a NaNo story. I've never gotten to 50,000 words. So this year is really my... I'm really determined to get to that 50,000 word mark this year. Um, anyway, so the story I'm writing, I titled it right now Juliana, because the story is just kind of, this is kind of a different story than what I usually write, but it's following this girl named Juliana throughout her life, and I'm planning on following her from like age 6 to like age like 40, when she, like to adulthood, mid-adulthood, and um, I just want to follow her life and like all the ups and downs that she experiences. I have a kind of setup where her parents have this like perfect relationship. Her parents are totally in love. They're high school sweethearts. They've been together forever. They're each other's first everything. And Juliana, they've kind of like created this um, kind of like ideal for Juliana. She kind of wants that, but it's just going to follow her through her struggles in life and how she kind of doesn't get everything her parents has like we're just kind of following her through the ups and downs of, like family friends relationships jobs and it's really different than what I've written I'm, I'm not writing in like chapters I'm writing like I have date excerpts and there's just little like um paragraphs or a few pages just describing what happened on that date in her life so it kind of jumps around a lot and it's 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 just interesting. It's a new way of writing and I find it like it doesn't have to be consistent and I really like that I can just kind of write pieces and parts of her life and they don't really all have to add up. I mean, they're all obviously going to add up in the end. And I don't really know if it's kind of like I'm kind of worried that it's just going to be boring just following her life, but like I'm trying to make each, each little like excerpt of her life interesting. Right now I'm still stuck in like her age 10 and she's 10 now. I started out when she was 6 and I've gone to age 10. I'm kind of really excited to write like her teenage years just because a lot more is going to happen and develop her as like a human being. Um, but yeah, that's really kind of what I'm writing about right now. The first week went pretty well. I was staying above my word count and I was really happy with that by like day 4 I already had like 5,000 words so I was just keeping above my word count. But then the weekend came, and this week, I don't know why, this weekend I just didn't, I didn't write at all. It's probably because I had my boyfriend out for the weekend, and um, we were just kind of hanging out because I haven't seen him in like a month because school is just crazy. But he came out, so I didn't really have a lot of time for writing. Um, so I'm really kind of behind on my word count right now. I have about, I have roughly 10,000 words right now. So that's not where I need to be. That's where I needed to be on Friday. Today's Monday, so um, my goal is today, a lot of my classes were canceled today, so I'm hoping to get to the 15,000 words today, or at least close, because that's what we need for today. And I really just want to keep going up on my word count and keeping it like consistent, because I feel like if I get behind, I'm not going to complete it by the 30th, and I really want to try and get 50,000 words this year because it'll just be a really good accomplishment. So, and I think it's pretty easy with the story I'm telling because it takes place over such a long amount of time. So for today I've written 750 words, so trying to get 5,000 by the end of the day is probably not going to happen, but I can at least try. Yeah, I've really been trying to write at least 2,000 words a day. Um, this week it really got me behind, so maybe if I write a little bit more, maybe if I write like 3,000 words a day, I'll kind of get caught up. Um, I'm just going to write until I can't write anymore and try and get back on track. So that's what I'm trying to do. 
What I've been doing is I've been writing my story down in a notebook. I just, I like writing in notebooks a lot more because I can just kind of take it everywhere with me. I don't need to haul around my computer and if I have, like, if I want to just write, I can just write. So, like, I've just been writing my story down and I've been, like, typing it up as I go. So, like, I'll write for a little bit, like, when I have some free time, when I'm out and about, and then I'll come home, type up what I've written, and then I'll just kind of, like, give me my word count then because it's just easier than trying to count my words in a notebook. I like being able to type it up and having Microsoft count my words for me. So I have my story typed up on my computer. Um, on nanorimo.org, I actually have like a little excerpt from like the first chapter up. If you guys want to go and read that, I'll link down below to my nano page so you guys can just follow my progress on there. I'll also be doing these kind of weekly videos just to keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. I'm going to read you guys um, an excerpt from my story. This is like the last paragraph I just wrote. It's kind of rough. This is obviously a shitty draft. Like this is just the first run through bad draft so keep that in mind. It probably is horrible <laughs> but just let me know what you guys think. It's going to be kind of hard because you haven't seen the rest of the story but yeah, so I'm just going to read you this little excerpt, so. December 20th, 2004. Christmas break began. Tyler's dad was released from the hospital yesterday, but he never brought up what had happened. I wasn't even sure if he knew. His uncle was his... Ooh. Oh, sorry, I can't read. His uncle was by his house a lot, probably to check up on Mr. Ross. I didn't know if Janet was still around. Tyler didn't like to talk about her very much. Christmas was nearing, and every year my family would drive downtown to see the lights. My dad drove to the city, one hand on the wheel and the other linked with my mom's over the console. My brother sat beside me, gazing out the window at the tall buildings floating by us. I looked out my window. Something was so magical about the city during Christmas time. The snow was falling in heavy clumps and joining the blanket of white already coating the streets. A few people were trailing footsteps through the fresh snow, wearing heavy coats and scarves. We drove around the town square, and I stared at the people shivering in the cold as they pointed and stared at the twinkling lights strung in, beautiful, in a beautiful array of patterns among the trees and archways. My dad parked the car, and we got out to walk under the lights. I was still amazed by the sight. Nate mostly seemed cold. My parents were smiling. My dad held my mom close, and they shared a quick kiss under the lights. So I'm just kind of describing what's happening just it's around Christmas time right now so she just kind of went with her family to go through the lights um, but that's just kind of like this kind of stuff that I'm writing I'm just writing little life events that kind of build her as a character build her family relationship show how she's just connected to everyone in her lives um, this is kind of just a light-hearted moment I just finished describing um, kind of a heavier more emotional scene like Tyler's her next-door neighbor and they're best friends they're both 10 years old and Tyler's kind of dealing with a lot of things that Juliana hasn't had to deal with in her life. Um, Tyler's parents are divorced, he, he's possibly getting a new stepmother, his father was just like admitted into the hospital, um, they don't really know what's going on because obviously the dolls aren't telling them much. So yeah, I feel like I might be writing a little too mature for the point of view of a 10 year old, but um, I'm thinking of it more as her modern self kind of replaying these events in this book, if that makes any sense. But yeah, obviously I'll be revising that, but that's what I'm up to, so um, I hope you guys like what I'm doing. I hope you guys are having a good nano. I hope you guys had a good first week of nano. Comment down below a paragraph from your guys' story or just a little summary of what your story is about. And also let me know what your word count is right now. Um, see if we can keep on track, get those 15,000 words by today. And hopefully we'll get 50,000 by the end of the month. We're all in this together, guys. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.